Hi everyone, I'm Prabal Guru and today we're going to hit our favorite spots in New York City for the AAPI Heritage Month. Come along. And the first place I always start every morning is my favorite spot in New York City, Washington Square Park. Look at how beautiful this is. Like, look at these colors. <laughs> We're here in Chinatown, which is one of my favorite places in New York City because it really signifies what New York means to me. I used to live actually on Mulberry and Bayard, and um, so I used to go to this like soup dumpling place with my book, order like two pork soup dumplings, and um, and just eat and read. And just look at that. It's so beautiful. One of the most exciting things about having an office in Midtown is we are very close to K-Town, Koreatown. Korean food for me is my version of soul food. Uh, one of the things that I love about Jackson Heights is, you know, it's um, not only are the f is the food like really incredible, it's also, you know, there are a lot of people from Nepal there. When you're walking on the street, all of a sudden they, you hear, hear the language and I'm all immediately transported back to um, Nepal. So I really love going there. Look at this whole menu, all 76 of them. Is this good? Yeah, that is good. Seven is good. Yeah, these are the places that makes me love New York even more so. Hi, how are you? Yeah. Hi, thank you. A lot of the restaurants, uh, stores and little shops, you know, there are oftentimes it's family owned, small businesses. And I've always believed it that the small businesses brings character to the city. The things that are made are special. Things that you find there are special. Things that you eat are made with so much love and care. It deeply resonates with me, all these small businesses, because I myself am an independent brand. You know, I was born in Singapore, grew up in Nepal. I lived in India, London, and Australia. And when I came to America, I came with this idea of creating a name for myself. More than that also, honestly, I just wanted to pursue my dream of becoming a fashion designer. That was my passion, that was my joy. I, when I started out, I started with nothing. And from a tiny little studio in East Village, my friend's apartment was our showroom. So I would say, just be yourself, embrace your culture, our quirks, our differences, and also our heritage is what is going to be our identity. And that is what is going to be celebrated. And I love New York City. It's multicultural, it's colorful, it's so sumptuous. Whether it's like Jackson Heights in Queens to Kensington in Brooklyn, K-Town, Chinatown, the fragrances, the colors, the textures, and the dialects, they tell so many stories that are unheard. I find it really incredibly inspiring and really truly represents what America is. I always walk away feeling very reassured that in this country, the American dream is still alive.